All right, so I was just searching for SEO agency in Florida, and look at that. These Google ads are getting more and more competitive, and all the different brands are using a bunch of different fancy uh, techniques that is trying to improve click-through rate. So what exactly are these fancy little you know, extensions and how can you make the most out of the different features that Google Ads provide? My name is Anand and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be talking about Google Ads extensions. So um, Google Ads provide a, a bunch of different extensions that will help you to improve your click-through rate and basically provide your users um, a bunch of different options that will help them to uh, get the right information at the right time and quickly convert them in, into customers. So the number one in my list is site link extension and um, an example of a site link extension is over here as you can see um, so this ad has four site link extensions um, and basically they are links to different pages um, to your website. Um, by adding a site link extension, you are providing more options um, and uh, opening up an opportunity for your end user to click on any of these links and quickly go to the exact page that they were looking for. Um, Site link extensions are again um, a great way to provide complementary information apart from your headline um, and description. So um, I highly recommend using site link extension um, if you are promoting a blog or if you're promoting your website, your services, um, and if you find an opportunity to uh, directly link to an important page uh, within your website. Moving on, um, I want to show you how to create a site link extension. So once an, uh, you are in your ads and extension uh, tab, click on this extensions tab over here and then click on this plus icon and choose site link extension. Um, and basically you can provide um, a text um, and then you can provide up to two description uh, and final URL. Um, and what you can do is you can when you're creating site link extension you are able to add this extension at the account level at the campaign level or ad group level so next time when you are running a campaign uh, you can you know use the site link extension that you had previously created um, and it's going to be a much faster process um, let's go back all right the next in my list is callout extension. Uh, callout extensions are similar to site link extension, um, but they don't link anywhere. So this is an example of callout extension. Um, for example, increasing ROI, no setup fees, no, no flat fees. So basically, um, whenever you have something um, unique and um, something that will make your brand stand apart, um, and if you have something to say um, that will improve or try to grab an attention, for example, 24 by 7 customer support or free shipping, these are some of the great examples of call out extension. extension. Um, and um, they are basically, again, a great way to um, make your ad stand out of the competition. So... To create a site link extension, sorry, to create a call out extension, um, it's the same way. Go to as an extension, click on extensions, and then choose call out extension. Um, and again, as you can see, uh, this is how a call out text will look like. So you have like four call out text, um, and you can add them um, to account level, campaign level, or ad group level. Um, moving on, uh, we have. the structured snippet extension. So a structured snippet extension is um, basically providing more information about your brand. So let's take an example of structured snippet extension. Okay, yeah, so this is an example of structured snippet extension. Um, so um, the way it works is it is 
um, basically your uh, category and values or um, you are able to show um, the different services and options that your business provides. So in this case, uh, the services that this company provides uh, is PPC, SEO, content, email, and so on. So um, again, structured snippet is a, a great way to showcase all the different services and options um, your business is able to provide um, and um, make sure that you are able to highlight them uh, in the ad. So again, this is an example of structured snippet extension. So basically click on your um, add structured snippet extension um, and this is a format description uh, header and then value one, value two, value three. Um, so that's how you can create a structured snippet extension. Uh, the next one in our list is call extension and as the name suggests, um, you are able to provide a phone number um, let me see. Uh, so this is not a good example. Let me pull up an example of. All right. Okay. So this is an, a great example of call out, call out, sorry, call extension. Uh, and basically, you know, you are um, the end user is able to click on this link and um, quick quickly make a call. Uh, now there are two options. You can either either provide your own. Uh, phone number or you can provide a forwarding number um, that Google provides and the advantage is you are able to track how many calls you are getting um, through your Google ad. So call out extension is again um, a great way to ensure that um, you provide your end users an opportunity to contact your business um, whether you're promoting uh, uh, an event or whether you want uh, to promote a time sensitive you know offer and you want your customers to call and you know finish the transaction or finish the sale and basically ensure that they take an action quickly by calling you so I highly recommend using call extensions uh, whenever possible um, moving on we have message extension and this is again similar to call extension. Um, the only difference is um, you are providing an option to, um, you know, make your, you're providing an option to contact you via message. So let me find out an example of message extension. Yeah, okay. So look at this. Um, basically, someone searched for car dealer you have the standard example of your Google search ad with all the links, the display URL, the description, but at the bottom you have this text is for an appointment. So once you click, you're able to text for an appointment. Uh, a lot of times, you know, you um, many people are not in a position to uh, have a conversation or they, they don't want to you know, make a call, uh, but they are more comfortable texting. So this is a great way to um, engage with your prospects by providing a message extension. Uh, next one is location extension. Um, and again, this is um, a good way to um, make sure that you are promoting your local physical store. Um, and when your prospects are somewhere near, near your business. So this is how a uh, location extension will look like. You have, have your standard ad, but then you are able to provide um, the exact address to your business. Um, um, sometimes location extension will also display, um, you know, hours, uh, directions, um, and a click, click, clickable call button. So location extension is a great way to uh, reach your prospects who are searching for something nearby. Um, and they are willing to um, go into a physical store. So I highly recommend, you know, promoting your local shop or local business uh, using location extension so that uh, you provide them an option to uh, click on your ad and get directions and quickly bring them to your store. Um, the next one is uh, affiliate location extension. 
Uh, now the only difference is um, an affiliate location extension is useful when uh, when you are selling products through your um, retailer um, or you know a business partner um, and you want um, to reach people who are nearby your retailer who is selling your products um, so that's the only difference between you know location extension and affiliate location extension um, next one is price extension um, and this is again a good way to showcase um, your services and provide pricing uh, in the ad itself so this is an example of how a price extension will look like uh, someone searching for best hair salon and uh, you get to see the standard ad but then for each of those services you also get to see the price and um, this is a great way to promote products and services um, where people want to know uh, the price first and then they decide whether they want to buy it or not so price extension is um, a good way to uh, you know cut short the uh, process and provide the relevant information uh, and make sure that you are able to convert um, uh, your leads into customers uh, and finally uh, we have app extension um, so an example of an app extension will be something like this um, I search for Amazon and you get the standard ad but then you also get download your mobile app or download the app and basically um, the advantage of an app extension is Clicking on this headline will actually take you to Amazon.com website, but then clicking on this will uh, take you to the store and people will be able to uh, download the app. So that's the best part. When you have an app that you want to promote, uh, you can use this app extension uh, to increase your app downloads um, and, and basically you, know, you can promote your website as well as your app. Um, and one last thing, I think Google introduced a review extension. Um, and as you must have seen, a lot of ads are showing these star ratings. Um, what you can do is with the review extension, you can pull in reviews from, from third party, um, you know, websites or third party review website. Um, and um, there are a couple of requirements. Uh, one of them is like they need to be, uh, you know, unique and they need to be latest. Um, or something like that. Uh, so I highly, highly recommend you know using review extension um, if you are getting a lot of reviews uh, for your business, uh, and it's a kind of social proof that people believe in. So uh, try to make use of you know uh, review extensions as much as possible. And I think there's one last thing to cover: uh, promotion extension. Um, and this is again a great way to promote your e-commerce store where you have a promotion going on. So this is an, an example of promotion extension um, where you have your standard ad, your site links, but then look at that, you have this 30% off. So if your business is promoting something or if there's a sale going on, then you can use promotion extension um, and try to compete with your uh, you know, competitors where and, and show something that is unique um, you can showcase your offer, your discount, uh, and and make sure that you get um, the clicks and the traffic um, and improve the conversion rate. So that's it guys. I know Google provides a lot of different extension. The key thing here is to use these extension um, and to know when to use them and for what purpose. And hopefully this video will give you an idea um, about all the different extensions, how they look like, and what are the advantages of using these extensions. Um, so if you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll, I'm posting weekly digital marketing videos and strategies. Um, and I hope this video helps. Uh, any, any likes and comments is much appreciated. And I'll see you next time.